hello guys and welcome to my channel so today in this lectures i am going to show you how to find a root using second method here we have the function given function fx equal to x square minus 4x minus 10 and first of all we have to choose the two initial guesses and we have to choose the two initial guesses means x1 equals to minus 2 and x2 equal to minus 1 and the initial guess should be in such a way that the functional value of one should be positive while the other should be negative and in my previous lectures, I have told you how to choose the initial guess with the halo calculators. So you can watch my previous video. And we have the formula for next system. We have x0 equals to x1 fx2 minus x2 fx1 by fx2 minus fx1. So using this formula, we can find a root using second methods. And here, how to solve this with the help of calculator? Simply, we can put this equation in the calculator. Here, x equals to a. Here, x, x0 equals to x1 fx2. And here x1 is replaced by a and x2 is replaced by b. So simply, simply we can write x1 a x1 a and fx2. We have the function fx is called x square minus 4x minus 10. So in place of function we have fx2. So simply we can write b square minus 4b minus 10. And minus in place of x2 we can write b and fx1. So a square minus 4a minus 10 upon fx2 minus fx1 means b square minus 4b minus 10 minus fx1 means a square minus 4a minus 10. Such that as such that x square minus 4x minus 10 so we can put this value in the calculators so i'll show you how to put this value in the calculator alpha x equals to a into b square minus 4b minus 10 b square minus 4 alpha b minus 10 minus alpha b alpha a square minus 4 alpha a minus 10 upon fx2 minus fx1 means alpha b square minus 4 alpha b minus 10 minus alpha a square minus 4 alpha a minus 10 and then such that x square minus 4x minus 10 shift and this x square minus 4 alpha x 4x minus 10 and then press calc here so in place of a we have the initial guess x1 equals to minus 2 and x2 is equals to minus 2 means we have choose the initial guess x1 and x2 so the root lies between minus 2 and minus 1 so in place of x1 we can write here minus 2 and minus 1 so here we have x1 equal to minus 2 and x2 equal to minus 1 so in place of a we have minus 2 and in place of a minus 1 so we have minus 1.714285 means minus 1.714285 and the functional value is minus 0 0.2040 minus 2 0 0.2040 so simply what we will do here here in place in the second iteration we have x1 in place of x1 we have the value of x2 is shifted here and here the value of x0 is shifted here means minus 1 is written here and minus 1.714285 is written here and then again we can calculate in place of a you can write minus 1 minus 1 and in place of b you can write minus 1.71428 means minus 1.714285 714285 and then press equals to so we have minus 1.7446 means minus 1.7446 and the functional value is 0 0.02263 so similarly we can 
calculate the third iteration here and now the in third iteration the value of here is shifted here and the value of x0 is shifted into x2 and simply we can also calculate the fourth, fourth iteration so, means the value of x2 is shifted here and here the value of x0 is shifted here and in final in the fifth iteration we have minus 1.74162 in x1 and in x2 we have minus 1.74165573 and in also in x node we have minus 1.741657 so. so here we have 1.74164 and minus 1.74164 and minus 74 minus 1.7416 means we got the same value of x1 x2 and x node up to the third decimal so sim so we have the required root will be root equals to minus 1.7416462 so from this we can clear that here x1 and x2 means minus 2 and minus 1 means the root lie between minus 2 and minus 1 so in this way you can calculate or find the root using second methods thank you